What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today's video, most of you guys probably know what's going down, but we're going to talk about the transmission swap that's about to happen. We're going to actually do it next week, so it's going down guys. Also want to do the first little showing of the shifter. He just sent me the shifter the other day, so let me grab that. Also want to note that uh, when you get parts from John, it's, it's pretty cool because he always puts a little something special in the box. Uh, the other day uh, when he sent me the t-shirts and some of the magazines that he actually put Frostbite in his shop magazine. And I'm mad because I don't have one with me right now. They're all at home. I wanted to show you guys that, but um, he's got them on the shop. And the next video I put up, I'm going to try to bring a magazine with me so you guys can check it out. But usually in his boxes, he'll usually throw some Tootsie Rolls in there write some little notes or whatever. Um, definitely pretty cool. Like right here, he's got on the inside of the box, go fast parts. <laughs> Damn right. So anyway guys, this is the shifter that is going in Frostbite. Absolutely awesome. Um, very super light. This thing doesn't weigh hardly anything. It's very, very light. Um, from what I can tell, this is Billet aluminum, basically, is what it's made out of, everything. Um, super, super light. It's been a long time since I've had a ratchet type of shifter, so getting used to this is obviously going to take me a little time. Um, but in a nutshell, it's basically a ratchet shifter, more or less, and it's a pistol grip, as you can see. And I did not bring the electrical buttons or the switches that will be mounted to the handle. Um, I thought I did, but they're actually in, uh, they're actually at the house. So anyway, this screw would come out and there's a half handle that screws down right here that has two buttons. Uh, basically one button will be kind of up here on the top next to this button. So it'll be pushed over to the side right here. And then there's a button that's kind of at a 45 degree angle right here coming out the side. Now basically one of those buttons is going to operate the trans brake that he has installed in the transmission. And the other button will uh, operate the overdrive feature. So everything on this transmission, as he's gonna explain and how, how, you know, what I've already told you guys about it, this is a full manual valve body transmission. Um, this transmission, it's an automatic transmission, but it will not shift any gears whatsoever by itself. It's full manual. And what that means is every single gear you see here, as you see the shifters marked park, neutral, reverse, first, second, third, fourth, I have to physically manually shift each one of those positions. Um, so it's going to be fun. Frostbite is going to be a blast to drive because we're going to have the automatic transmission, but we're going to be actually operating those gears manually. So there's going to be a lot more feeling involved in racing this truck. Um, we're going to be a little bit more in tune with it as we're banging gears now and everything, so it's going to be a blast. Um, and then just driving on the street, you know. Everybody loves, everybody loves to drive a manual, especially a little hot rod or whatever. Um, sometimes having a clutch, though, gets kind of tiring, especially on the street. And this gives you kind of best of both worlds. You don't have a clutch, you don't have a clutch pedal or none of that junk. It's still an automatic, but all you got to do is shift the gears manually with the shifter. So basically, I'm going to kind of show you a little rundown here. Of, let me get over here. How this thing will work. And again, guys, I'm getting used to it. Probably going to have to have John show me the way he operates this thing the best because he's used to them. But obviously, in, in park, right here, you would squeeze the pistol grip in front of us right here and then that would bring you back to neutral or reverse now how reverse works on my transmission that he's building is it incorporates the trans brake so if we're in neutral right here and you see it's marked for reverse I would shift back here to neutral and if I want reverse I would shift to the same spot but I have to hold the trans brake to activate the reverse so you have to be in this position and then you have to activate the trans brake button so it'll shift into reverse. Now obviously the trans brake function works when you're in first gear 
when you're actually going to launch the truck more or less but when it's in neutral or the reverse spot the trans brake will operate the actual reverse gear for the truck so that is that and then to go down to first you would actually squeeze you'd push down this top button and squeeze right here to get to first gear so now we're in first gear so more or less how this is going to work um, say we're at the staging lines and we're staged at the tree we're going to have the shifter handle here we're going to have the trans brake button mashed and we're going to get on the gas pedal and the, the engine's going to rev and we'll be able to rev the motor as high as we want but the truck will not move anywhere as long as this trans brake button is mashed and we're in first gear so as soon as i launch as soon as i let go of the button up here the truck is going to launch and then when it's time to go to second gear all we do is we simply grab this thing we're in second gear now and the truck's going to be pulling 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 and then when it's time to go to third we'll ease up on the pressure pull it back to third same thing we're doing the pull and when it's time to go to fourth we're going to ease up pull straight back now we're in fourth gear and hopefully we're hauling some major ass <laughs> but that is that now again it's full manual so now we're in fourth gear we're going to be slowing down so we're actually going to have to squeeze this go to third we got to downshift this thing again it's full manual all the up shifting and all the down shifting is up to me i have to do everything so if we need to go to second we're going to go down to second if we're going to go down to first whoops, we're going to go to first same thing we're going to go to neutral or reverse and then back to park everything is up to me i have to do this all myself no more computer stuff with this transmission at all um, so that's pretty much how it is how it's going to work and again this is going to look awesome in the truck it's going to be super badass fun driving the truck with this thing uh, especially once we get used to it you know not gonna lie it's a little bit uh intimidating but um i've i've had some shifters like this before on other trucks and uh it just takes time to get used to them so so heck yeah guys there you go that is the shifter we're going to be running in the truck um, again i'm kind of mad i didn't bring the actual buttons and everything that we're going to be mounting on this i'll show them in another video and on the install of this you know when you're trying to keep the truck look stock or you know slightly oem still it's very hard to try to go to a shifter like this um, and a transmission like we're running and try to keep it looking oem so the other day I was messing with it. We were trying to come up with a way to mount this in the factory console. Um, I've came up with an idea of what I'm going to do. That may not be what, a, what some other people will do. Um, there's a guy on Instagram that hit me up, and he did a fabulous job of installing. Uh, it wasn't this type of shifter. It was a ratchet. It was a, it was a ratchet type shifter. Um, but I believe his shifter is actually a little smaller in this. This, this shifter actually has a lot of body and a lot of movement, how it works. So it takes up a lot of space. And after looking at my console um, and trying to come up with a way to basically hack it up and make this look as OEM as possible, minus all this sticking out of it, it there's just not enough material in the factory uh, console, which is you know has the cup holder, the factory location where the factory shifter was there's just not enough material to mount this in there um, you know on top of it under it anything there's just no way to really mount it and it looked right um, not only that i just didn't like the way it felt um, trying to put it exactly where the factory spot was because again this thing is so big the height for this matters a lot and when I lay my arm on my console, my center console, I want to be able to grab this very easily. You know, I want my elbow on my console roughly and I want to be able to grab this very easily. So the height is very important. And then also the reach when you're shifting this thing, you know, as this goes back, this thing has a lot of reach. So as you go back, the handle is kind of getting lower. So you don't want to be like cramping up your wrist and everything by the time you're getting to, you know, fourth gear. So what I'm going to do, and once I get it completely 
Uh, more or less completely fabbed up and finished. I'll do a, a, I'll do a video on how I did it. Um, but quickly what I'm gonna, what I'll go over is basically the stock shifter is out. The cup holder, the whole plastic insert cup holder section is out and won't be coming back. Basically I'm gonna keep my entire center console, but it's gonna be completely gutted in the center. And what I'm doing, um, I thought about using a piece of flat aluminum, uh, uh, aluminum plating or uh, just a sheet of aluminum. Maybe. Oh, I hate to say that was actually a Dodge Dakota with the worst sounding fart can I've ever heard. Holy moly, that hurt my head. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do, I thought about using a sheet of aluminum to basically just lay over my console. And then I was either going to carpet that aluminum or um, wrap it in some leather or something. But I was kind of wondering on the, the noise effect I'm going to get with that and also the flex. You know, a piece of quarter inch aluminum would probably be pretty stout, but we're talking about a big square with a big opening underneath it. Um, so there might be some wobbling there. And I really don't want to deal with any of that. So what I'm going to do and what I've started doing already, I'm going to use a piece of MDF board. Um, I'm going to use a piece of half inch, uh, a sheet of half inch MDF board. And I've already shaped it. Um, I got to do the sanding still. Um, I, gotta, I drilled my holes out and everything. I got the, the location and everything, how it's going to mount. And again, I will go over how I'm mounting it to my console. And most likely I'm going to actually have, I'm going to wrap that sheet of MDF probably in leather that pretty much closely matches the interior of the truck, like the seats or anything. And I'm probably going to actually have my wife do it. She actually redid our seats on the golf cart that I use when I go to the racetrack. Um, she's pretty good with that stuff. She actually wrapped the, redid the seats in leather. We actually did two tone colors. Um, so probably gonna have her actually, probably gonna actually have her wrap the piece of MDF board. Um, but once it's done, again, it's not gonna look factory, but it's gonna look good enough for me and it's gonna function. That's the biggest thing is it's going to function. The shifter is going to be exactly where I want it. And it's going to be as close to stock as I can keep it. Again, I'm not gutting this truck. We got full interior in it. Uh, matter of fact, the other day when we ran the truck and blew the transmission, um, absolutely full weight. Passenger seat, all the interior, everything was in the truck. Absolutely everything. Everything in the back of the truck, I actually have put back in. The toolbox carrier in the back. Um, the back paneling, everything is in the truck. And the 11.8 we ran when we actually blew the trans and still ran 11.8, um, that was completely full weight and probably the heaviest the truck's been in a long time. Usually I race with a passenger seat out and the whole back of the truck gutted. Um, we had everything in the truck that night and still currently do. And that's probably how I'm gonna race the truck the remainder of the season. Um, we might gut it down a little bit, but you know, I don't want to have to gut my truck, you know. I don't want to take off mirrors and rip out carpet and all that stuff. I want the truck to look like a truck, and I want it to go fast, you know. Uh, I think we can go tens with this truck after the transmission full weight. I, I don't see why we can't. Um, I think it's going to be very possible. Um, once we get everything dialed in, I get used to it. I think we're going to go tens full weight very easily. So that's my opinion. That's what I think, and that's my goal. So, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for uh, when I do the video on how I actually mount this into the truck, and we do the wrapping on the board, whether we go with leather or like a carpet or something like that. I'm pretty stuck on, I think, the leather. We're probably gonna go with some sort of a leather or a pleather, maybe it ain't gonna be real leather, but you get the idea. There he goes, guys. There's the shifter, there's the plans. Um, again, like I said, we're gonna try to do this next week. Uh, me, my son, and most uh, one of my best friends is actually going to make the drive with me. 12-hour drive from my house here in Georgia all the way to Indiana. And CRT, Coke Racing Transmissions, is literally up there at the top. Um, he's really close to Chicago. 
um, which he's actually talked about wanting to take me to Chicago to get some real pizza and a real hot dog. So I guess we're going to be doing that too as, 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 uh, as well as throwing in a transmission. But I can't wait to get up there. Uh, John's got an awesome shop. He's got tons of knowledge um, that a lot of people wish they probably had a quarter of. And he's just all around a good dude. And again, I'm super, super thankful and super stoked that CRT and John Cope is helping out my little old truck Frostbite uh, to get to the next level. And again, I can't even thank him enough but that is the plan guys so stay tuned we got a road trip coming next uh next week we'll probably go live during that trip and uh see you know see how the trip's going hope our trip goes good and we don't have any issues getting up there and back it's a long ride and honestly i can't tell you the last time or if i've actually ever driven 12 hours in a day um, so that's going to be probably a little rough um, last Longest trip I took was to Mo Party, which was about a six and a half hour drive from my house to Kentucky, up uh, where they did Mo Party at Beach Bend. And uh, I love driving, but I'll be the first one to tell you that sitting there driving continuously like that it, it uh, wears me out and definitely hard for me to <laughs> punch through about six or seven hours. So twelve hours is going to be rough, but I think we're going to make it fun. So. Oh my God, there's the fart can again. That Dakota sounds so terrible. I, I just, it hurts my feelings. It hurts my feelings. I know, oh, God. I know it's a V6, but good Lord. He's got like huge 10 inch tips hanging out of the back of this thing. Anyway, that's that. So as always guys, stay safe out there. Hey, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's free. It don't cost anything. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Help support the truck, me, uh, CRT, Torque Storm Superchargers. Come and hang out with us. Also, don't forget, hit that like button. And as always, guys, stay safe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.